So please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. What happened on December 21st, 2020? This is the truth of what happened on that day. Like a solar flare, yeah, we keep it bright. Take a look into the sky, yeah, I be taking fly. 2020 vision, everything gon' be alright. Ascending to new heights with my third eye. Elevate your frequency, ain't no other way to be. When we rise into 5 e feel the love strong. Open your chakras, can't be locked to energy hot. Now, before I get into the truth, of what happened on December 21st, 2020, I'm gonna need you to hit the like button. Hit the like button because it's gonna help push this video out to a greater audience, okay? So just hit that like button right now and subscribe if you're not subscribed because I got a lot more of these kinds of videos coming. What happened on December 21st, right? So I got this message so on my TikTok, I got this comment that it was just a big, it was basically just like a big hoax that oh we didn't get superpowers so nothing happened they're saying so nothing happened so like this event was just it was meaningless they're saying oh the spiritual community oh now they're all now they all stop talking about it yeah they stopped talking about it because it happened and you move on you move on and they're saying okay we didn't get these superpowers so it's it's false it wasn't what everyone cracked it up to be no the people who cracked it up to be this this huge thing where we're gonna get these superpowers and all that it, it, people like to exaggerate people like to exaggerate for fun and you know for the memes right it's clout they do it for the clout and i get it i get it i mean i don't know who is exa exactly saying like you're gonna get superpowers but that is not true that is not exactly the case yes what happened on that day was the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, right? The great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. These are the biggest planets in our solar system, right? The two biggest planets in our solar system lined up. And this hasn't happened in about 800 years. And they, they, people even speculate as well that when Jesus Christ was born, uh, the brightest star in the sky that was that lasted for like um, a day or two something like that That it was they speculate it was the great conjunction So you you can see how it shows that this event is pretty pretty significant, right? I'm gonna tell you more about the superpowers and how we still in a, in a way do get some type of superpowers in a way I'm, I'll explain later and so the reason why people believe that December 21st would be the end of the world is because the, the Mayan calendar, the Mayan calendar was saying that December 21st, 2012 would be the end of the world. But if we were actually following the Julian calendar, that would mean that there was a, there's a difference in eight years. So in 2020, that was actually the year of 2012. And so what the Mayan calendar is saying that is the end of the world, the end of the universe, is actually just a new beginning, a new transition. Hence, we get the age of Aquarius. So you can see that this is still a very, it's a very significant thing, right? It's a very significant thing, this date. It's the end of the world, a new beginning. I had some things happen to me on this, around the date of December 21st that were like, pretty big like pretty huge like events that happened to me pretty huge but before I get into that let me explain a little bit more about Jupiter and Saturn and why it's also significant because Saturn represents restriction right Saturn represents mostly restriction Jupiter represents expansion and growth so we now have this like it's like this complete duality right this complete duality and and now you can see more people are waking up they're realizing their potential, how we're multi-dimensional beings, meaning expansion, right? Expansion. And at the same time, like I've been I've been manifesting like more and more. And yes, I've been doing affirmations, but Jupiter might even have something to do with it. But with, with restriction as well, Saturn, we can see, you know, the lockdowns, right? We got that. And then 2021, like we'll see. I, I, I'll explain that more in another video. Because these are the biggest planets of our solar system, 
and everything it's like we're all like connected by this gravity right we're all connected by this gravity and we have electromagnetic fields around our bodies right our earth has it right our earth has an electromagnetic field we have it so it's these like magnetic poles magnetic shifts that happen and they do they do shift our consciousness as you can see like on the full moon like People become lunatics, right? That's where we get the word lunatics from. Lunar, right? Loon. The moon, right? So, it it does affect our consciousness. And so, what, what could be happening, what could have happened on December 21st is more of like a shift in consciousness, right? A shift in consciousness, accelerating our consciousness, right? we could be getting more psychic abilities and for me personally like i've had like recently like more than more than a, in a while like for real my dreams have been really speaking to me like things have been coming into existence like the things that happen in my dream will literally like happen like the next day and it's like it's mind-blowing because it, it's more than just a coincidence you feel me it's a way more than just a coincidence when these types of things happen you literally have something happen super specific in your dream and then the next day it comes it comes about like into existence like that that's that's right there telling me you know what i'm saying like there's so much more to this life and <laughs> so yeah we could be getting more of these psychic abilities more and more but it's not like we're gonna be flying around right it's not like we're gonna be flying around those kind of superpowers that people were actually expecting no no we, we entered into the age of aquarius because what happened was when jupiter and saturn lined up perfectly right it lined so it was like super close the closest had been in like over 800 years and it was in the air sign right aquarius zero degrees in the air sign of Aquarius. So it's like, yo, we just entered into this new age, the age of Aquarius. And now we're about to have, we're about to wake up even more. There's gonna be this, this like, this war on consciousness even more. So get prepared for something like that. Get prepared for something like that. But that is what happened. And I, I confess for me, like I've had some events um, in my life events in my life like around december 21st that happened to me personally it was so intense like in my relationships like the very very emotionally like super super intense like it was like three or two days before the actual event december 21st and then like two days before and then the actual day and maybe even the day after it was like these certain events in my life that just were so so emotionally like it was it was like difficult it was like pretty difficult to go through and it's like the, the fact that it happened just like right around this date and like this many days consecutively it's like yo that that does not happen like in my life that that those kinds of like emotional things in my relationships like they just don't happen you know what i'm saying like like that and, but but it happened right and it's like there you like that just showed me even more like there is so much more to astrology than we might think so it's gonna be it's it's gonna be kind of subtle it's gonna be kind of subtle like this the differences the changes that are gonna be coming about from that day but that day was a super important day so you can't just write it off because you're not flying around <laughs> so that is the truth of what happened on december 21st 2020 subscribe and hit the bell notifications for more videos like this and i got a lot more videos if you want to learn more about this kind of topic until next time peace so please keep your mind at ease it's obvious like a sword flare yeah we keep it bright take a look into the sky yeah i be taking flight 2020 vision everything gonna be all right ascending to new heights with my third eye elevate your frequency ain't no other way to be when we rise into five e feel the love strong open your chakras can't be locked to energy huh